Bernardo Swartboy coming to his defense reminded Professor Kajivivi that often they get insults from other parliamentarians and the speaker allegedly does not react the same way. The speaker, however, said that those words were used on Monday and he had to go back to confirm. Pleading with Sebab and Swartboy to listen to his request proved futile. The pair, followed by other LPM MPs, then in a half walked out. The House proceeded with other matters as Minister of Justice Yvonne Dauseb proceeded to explain the amendment to the Prevention of Organized Crime Amendment Bill. Dauseb nonetheless stated that lawmaking in the country should be consistent with the Namibian Constitution and goes through robust scrutiny through the Cabinet Committee before a bill is passed. So, so I want to raise two things. The first one, Honorable Speaker, relates to generally lawmaking in the country. As a general principle of law, when you talk about the rule of law, there are a number of sources that come to play. It's the supremacy of your constitution, it's provisions of statutes, it's practices and provisions that comes from common law, and then you have the, the, the three organs of state, which also anchors your rule of law and the principle of, of the separation of powers. So it's important for the honorable members to understand that whatever law we make would be expected to be consistent with the provisions of the Namibian constitution. And that's why before any law comes to this honorable house, there is actually a very robust and tedious process through which we go. Trial rights, no matter how we look at it, will always and consistently be applied. There is no intention on the part of, of this amendment. And Honorable Speaker, just to clarify, this is just an amendment to the provisions of the Prevention of uh, Organized Crime Act that is already in existence. She further stated all laws are genuine applications. There should be no law, Dauseb stressed, that singles out individuals or groups.